In many countries, traditional medicine is embedded in the culture, heritage and daily lives, yet it is largely removed from technology. But in China, health experts have developed an artificial intelligence system to make it easier to diagnose, recommend and dispense traditional medicine even in the most remote areas. All that is required is online access. We started in 2017 and in the World Health Organization and World Bank and Chinese Ministry of uh, Health project, pilot project in China. Mm -hmm. And in just one year, the cost saving for insurance, government insurance is 12%. The doctor's income improved from 1.5% to even a quadru quadruple income because they can see uh, patients with, it's like a super doctor system at your hand. The World Health Organization issued a mandate from 2014 to 2023 for member states to establish policies and to regulate the traditional medicine sector in their respective countries. It is estimated to be worth 2.9 billion rand annually in South Africa and accounts for 40% of China's health budget. The department is developing a policy on traditional medicine for South Africa. So the policy will serve as an enabler for the department to include traditional medicine in the primary health care level. South Africa is still in its early stages of the implementation of the World Health Organization's mandate on integration of traditional medicine into primary health care. And the nation's approach to the mandate focuses on three areas. That is the product, the practitioner and the practice. China is a global leader in the manufacturing and distribution of traditional medicine. Here, it's how, it's how it comes from the farm. It's a raw herb, dried. We also have it in a form of powder, yeah. We also have it in a form of short, yeah. For some people do not like the taste of the herb and stuff. So when it's in a form of short, yeah, it's mixed with other uh, preservatives and also things that give it a taste. In South Africa, this herb's root has medicinal value and is very common. This Zulu shaman, who has asked to remain anonymous, explains the uses of Panax Extratum, also known as Ubuvimba, in Nisizulu. We use the herb to heal ailments associated with lungs, like asthma, and when mixed with other herbs, we use it to flush out toxins from the body and improve blood circulation. Based on its name, Ubuvimba, which means block, we mix it with other herbs to get rid of bad energies. Traditional medicine is widely used by different cultures here in South Africa. But unlike India and China, there's very little knowledge and study of this form of medicine. The information is reserved for the sacred traditional medicine practitioner. Ingam Sileni, BGTN and Johannes Specht.